So now we are going to learn how to convert our uh, simulation or case into a template. So creating and saving a template will help you use this simulation instead of recreating it again. You can use this template and embed it or add it to another uh, case study. So now when will we use this one? This is a refrigeration. Okay, so this will be used if I'm going to cool or, lo or lower the temperature of another stream okay so each time I am using this one it will be the same but the difference will be here here we have an inlet coming from the surrounding so here this is the surrounding or the system that I want to lower the temperature and I take this temperature and I give it to this closed cycle of refrigerant okay so what is important here is this stream is not defined each time it will be defined depending on the surrounding that I'm extracting the heat from. So here I need to open this one and delete the heat flow. Why I am deleting the heat flow? Because if I am using this refrigeration system as a template, each time it will do the same job, which is lowering the temperature and extracting a heat flow from another system. So this value will be changing that's why i'm going to delete it so when i delete it it will be a non heat flow so this system will be uh, like this one like this one in light blue which means it is not solvent but each time i extract information and add the value of um, of the heat flow over here it will be solvent okay so this one so again i'm deleting this one to save it as a template and each time the heat flow is added information is added it will be converted into uh, a converged system okay so now to jump uh, to the process here for, at the top we have customize so in the customize we have in the case we can convert to a template so now i'm going to press to convert the system to a template and would you like to convert this simulation case into a template yes the second one do you want to save the stain this changes mean which means i have deleted over here as um, the information of the heat flow do you want or to keep my system with this information unsaved no the answer will be no okay so now I'm going to have a template. How do I know uh, that I have a template? The extension will be tpl dot tpl. And instead of having a high size extension, we are going to have. So if we look here, I have saved this one into my file, and the extension is hsc. This is for high size. Now, if you look at the top, okay, let me make this the screen bigger. At the top over here, you will find out that the extension it changes from C3 cycle dot ISIS into C3 cycle dot TBL. So, if you want to know if you are dealing with a ISIS case or a template, you can know it simply from the extension. Okay, so I have already saved uh, this template. Okay, so moving forward, if you if you have created like 100 case and it might be confusing if you for you to open this file and understand what is going on here so to help you make this one like more uh, familiar and easy to recognize i usually go to the format after finishing each simulation and i go and insert okay so here i am going to insert a text in this text i am going to mention what is happening here or just to give a simple name because you inside each unit operation and the material stream you can write a note or a comment uh, so here i i'm just trying to keep it simple so i'll write just c3 refrigeration uh, system to be used in cooling uh, another system or c3 refrigeration system is enough for me to recognize what i'm dealing with so i'm going to press ok and i will have this information printed over here so for me i prefer maybe me it changes uh, uh you can change the uh, writing from here you can increase the size like 17 instead of 13 or 12 and you can change also the color like this so it's up to you to do uh, the adjustment that you want but it's uh, always remember you remember it now because you are just creating it but after some time when you are 
embed uh, integrating this system with another system it, it might be difficult to remember um, what is exactly happening inside this one okay so th this is a really important video to know how to convert your uh, template so moving forward when we are doing the refinery and we have uh, the actual unit will be the atmospheric distillation and the vacuum distillation and for the rest of refineries like FCC and uh, late cooker and also uh, the hydro cracker uh, each of this unit will be created as a template and it will be added uh, to uh, the simulation okay uh, 